Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Hannah. How are you guys today? Uh, today's video is going to be a 24 hour reading video. Um, I'm on spring break this week and I have extra time to read. I am not doing any work this week. Th thank God. Um, but I have some time. I thought it would be fun to do a 24 hour kind of reading challenge. Oh my God. I just noticed the mess behind me. Ignore that. Uh, everything's a mess right now. We went through some transitioning and starting to pack and organizing and moving and yeah. So, uh, yeah, ignore that, but we're going to do a 24 hour reading challenge today. If that is something that is interesting to you, stay tuned. We're going to jump into it right now. Okay. So yeah, I'm on spring break this week and I figured it would be a fun time to just like take a break from watching a lot of TV and stuff as much as I want to watch the TV um, and just read. The last couple months, well, the last couple weeks really have been really hard for me to get back into my reading because I'm just really tired. Like I'm just really exhausted. I've been really burnt out with dealing with my job and so it's nice to have this time off and have the time to just chill, sit with a book and read. So I'm going to do a 24 hour reading challenge. It is currently 520. So I'll read until, you know, tomorrow afternoon and see what I can get done. Uh, my goal for this is to just read and um, switch up books as I want to. I have four um, options that I'm going to give myself. They're going to be more shorter books just so I can see how many I can read in a day. I don't, I don't read very fast, so I don't think I'm going to read all of them by tomorrow at 5.30, especially because I'm going to sleep and like eat and like maybe do things. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a couple, I'm giving myself four options to read and they're all, they're all pretty short, except one of them is pretty long, but I've already started it. So, and it, it'll probably be a fast read for me. So I'm going to include it in this video. So without further ado, let me stop rambling. I'll get to my options. So the first one is the longer one and it is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I'm already on page 65 of this book. So I've already started it and I've read uh, that chunk I've read pretty fast. So I think I could finish this. I don't know if I can finish it by tomorrow, but I can get at least a decent chunk done and maybe finish it if I'm like obsessed with it enough. I've heard really good things. I need a good romance. I've only read one romance this year, which is wild because I read like t 10, 13 romances last year. So I've only read one this year so far. So really excited to jump into a romance and kind of get me out of this maybe slump I'm feeling. I also have This Is How You Lose the Time War. This one I've also started already. This is a library book. So hopefully I can finish this one like first. Uh, I'm already on page 60. And so, and the audiobook just came in on my Libby app too. So hopefully I can get this one finished too. I think I'm going to put this on while I straighten up again, this mess behind me. So I'm going to put this audiobook on as I clean a little bit. This one again is also really short, like it's so little. So hopefully I'll finish this one tonight too. The other two I have are just kind of, if I finish those two, those are like my first priority. If I finish those two, I have some two other shorter books that I can jump into and see how far I can get. So the first one is Outlawed by Anna North. I've kind of heard mixed things. Um, again, it's really short. It's like 250 pages. It's not long at all. So, and the print is pretty large. We love large print. You see these glasses? This girl loves large print. So... Hopefully I'll jump in, be able to jump into this one. I'm actually really excited for it. I think it'll be really fun to read. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I still think it'll be fun to jump into like a Western story. And then the last book that I have is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Um, just look at this cover. Isn't this freaking beautiful? This cover is everything. Uh, again, a really short read. It's about, it's about, it's about family of immigrants. That's about all I know about it. But I do, I have heard that even though it's small, it packs a big punch. And so we'll jump into that one maybe if I need it. So those are the four books that I'm going to try and get through for this 24 hour reading challenge. Um, I'm going to check it back in with you guys 
at some point, maybe throughout the day, tomorrow. I don't know. I've never done this before. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. I'm going to go read. Bye. Hello. Um, so remember like three hours ago when I was like, I'm going to read and clean and do all these things and it's going to be great. Yeah. Well, and then, uh, I remembered that I have a work training that was due tomorrow. So I just spent the last like hour and a half trying to do that because the program was trash and wasn't working. Um, my apartment is a disaster. I'll tell you, I haven't been here the last couple days. I just got back from a trip with some friends. And so everything's kind of all over the place because I just kind of came in and just dumped everything on the floor and I'm probably not going to unpack it until tomorrow. So right now it is about quarter to nine. I'm going to make myself a mug cake because I really want one. And then I'm going to keep reading. Uh, this is how we lose the time war or how you lose the time war. It's a really long title for a really short book, but I'm going to keep listening to it as I make my mug cake and hopefully finish it tonight. I'm about halfway through it. It's only about a four hour audiobook. And so I've got about two hours and some change left. So hopefully I finish it tonight. All right. Bye. It is the next day. It is, I'm not wearing my watch. I think it's like 1230. I don't know. Uh, and I finished This is How You Lose the Time War by Amal L. Motar and Max Gladstone. I finished it to listen to it on, uh, listen to it on audiobook. Whoa, can I talk? Um, I gave it two out of five. I'm going to be honest. I had no idea what was happening for like most of this. I don't know if it's just because I don't read a lot of fantasy and so some of the more descriptive language threw me off a little bit. Like I got the romance, I got the mutual pining, I got that. But like everything else that was happening, I was like, I don't know, I can't picture it. I couldn't visualize it, which was really hard for me. It's really hard when I can't visualize what's going on with these characters and like where they are and what they're doing and what the setting is if I can't figure out the setting then I'm constantly thinking about how can I picture these characters if I can't even picture where they are what they're doing so yeah two out of five for this one um yeah I actually ended up reading this for the buzzfeed buzzfeed buzzword readathon for reading challenge from Kayla at books and Lala and the word for March was time. And so that's why I picked up this book. Otherwise, I wouldn't have picked it up on my own. So I'm glad I have that challenge to kind of open me up to different things. This one just missed the mark for me. So now I'm going to make some lunch and I'm going to probably watch some TV. I'm going to edit a video and I'll read The Hating Game later and... We'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll be able to get a big chunk of it in by, what was it, 5.30 yesterday? It's 5.30. Okay. Bye, guys. I'm going to go carry on with my day. See you later. Hello. I'm back. It is about 7 p.m. now. Um, so my 24 hours for my 24-hour reading challenge is up. But I'm going to keep going until I go to bed. But I wanted to give y'all an update of where I am right now. Um, so I finished This Is How You Lose the Time War. And I'm currently on about 40% about of the way through the hating game. And I am obsessed with it. Oh my god. I get what the hype is about. I totally get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. Um... I'm loving this. I like, I like, I can't put it down. I have been completely unproductive all 
afternoon because I've been trying to get through this and I'm really excited to see how far I could get. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight because again, I'm a slow reader, so I don't think I'll finish it tonight, but I definitely think I can get another 100 pages in and it's so good, guys, it's so good. I get the hype, I totally do, I totally do. And like, oh my God, you can see my background. That was my uh, virtual teaching corner. Not virtual teaching anymore, haven't put it away yet. Yeah, and all my books are over there. So, yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go back to reading this and then I think, I think after this book, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's a different video for another day. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. It is now the next day. It is now Friday at about 10 a.m. Um, and I'm still exactly where I'm at in the hating game. I was going to read before I went to bed last night and then I immediately got into bed. I was watching a couple TikToks and then what do you know, the fire alarm went off. So that was fun. Um, I don't know what happened, but it was about 30 minutes. We had to sit out, stand outside and wait. And so I just waited in my car. I brought my book outside in case I wanted to read, but I was so like, I don't know if like nervous or just like the adrenaline kicked in, but I was not, I wasn't reading. Um, so then I came back in and just went to bed because at that point I was exhausted. So I'm going to end it here because I want to edit it and put it up for you guys. But I'm still reading this. I'm still loving this. I'll probably have more thoughts when I do a video about recent reads in a couple weeks. So yeah, have a great day. Hope you're doing okay. Um, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you guys later.